Alright, uh, long time no see, unless you've just watched a previous video of mine. But um, a quick unboxing of the latest piece of kit, and it is the uh, 2012 MacBook Air. So, let's crack the box up. Now you know, as you know, if you know me, have you watched any of my videos, I hate unboxing videos, I think they are really irritating. So, uh, I don't really like doing them. Because if, you, if you're anything like me, you know it all. You know all the specs and everything. So this will be more like a speed unboxing. Right, let's have a look. So there it is. And there's a box with some wires and shit in. And here is the delightfully small 2012 MacBook Air 11 inch. Now... Uh, for all those that like facts and figures, because I know I do, this is the 11 inch, 2 gigahertz quad core, uh, sorry no it's not a quad core, it's the dual core, i7, 2 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM, 256 SSD, but uh, it is very very small, and it has ports on it, and a hinge, so uh, that's the, uh, the detail version of that, but whilst we're at it, this is the 2011 MacBook Pro and that's a 15 inch also an i7 but this one is the quad core dual core quad core both 2 gigahertz now this one I fitted 8 gig of RAM in myself and put 128 gig SSD in it so you know when you see those comparison videos where people say oh look the air starts much faster than the Pro that wouldn't be the case of this but what I really want to know is and again these videos are all about being practical can this be used to edit and encode um, HD video, 1080p video? So, um, I will, I'm not gonna open it up and fire it up. And I will actually, I will open it up because uh, I wanna see how, look, it is tiny. It is really small, really, really small. Let's just have a quick, uh, actually looks smaller here because it's further away, but yeah, it, it is a very small. So what I intend to do is a couple of videos because I, I've looked on YouTube and I wanted to see can it be used for Final Cut 10? Can you use it for video editing successfully? And I haven't really seen anything that says, yes, you can encode video and it's this much faster than it is on the um, on the Pro. So same size processor, but this is dual core, this is quad core. This is the Ivy bridge, this is the Sandy bridge. So I'm gonna put some footage on each, uh, on each computer, same footage, and see how quick it takes to render and just give a real verdict on is it practical to use. So uh, that's all it is. Really quick one, and like I say, there is a box over there with some wires in it. Uh, if you want to know more about the specs and the wires, um, look on the Apple website. Take care now. Bye bye then.